Hey Miss Maggie, it's Rachel. So in this video, I'm just going to go over a couple of things that you could do with your website here, get it updated, um, start making it rank higher on Google and making it work better for you. So let's get started here. I just want to start out by saying I absolutely am obsessed with your website. It's beautiful. I love it. It's so simple. It's clean. It's sleek. Like it just makes my brain so happy looking at it. It's wonderful. Um, but what Google really cares about on this home page is the content. And so they want to see you sitting at about a 1500 to 2000 word mark of command quality content that lets them know that you're an authoritative figure on the services that you offer. So on photography. Now, in addition to that content, they want to see buyer intent keywords sprinkled throughout it. I'll jump into those here shortly, um, but you just want to sprinkle those kind of organically throughout the content that you add on here. Now, the next thing that we're going to talk about here really quick is backlinks. And so a backlink is just a shout out from another website. And this just lets Google know that you're trustworthy and relevant. But Google also has to make sure that the websites that are giving you those backlinks are trustworthy and relevant as well. So the tool that I use to check out backlinks is called Aris. This is a paid tool. You don't have to use it. There are other free tools out there. Um, so what we're going to look at here is this UR and this DR. So the UR is your trust rating with Google. The DR is your power rating with Google. These are influenced by the number of backlinks you have and the backlinks just come from these referring domains. And so what we can see here with no data and a very low DR rating is that you one, don't have very many backlinks and two, the ones that you do have, um, aren't doing very much for you. Maybe they're not super trustworthy. Maybe they're not very relevant, powerful, um, those kinds of things. Now I did grab a couple of the competitors in your area. This Jessica's photography is more family based. And I think you do some lifestyle stuff from what I saw. And then I grabbed, um, Chad Kirkland as well, who does a little bit more of the commercial kind of side of things. So just some similar things, but I put these guys into Aris as well too. So this one is Jessica, as we can see, trust rating again, not there. power rating a little bit higher. She's only got five backlinks from just one referring domain. So her backlinks are a little, they're powerful. They're doing a little bit for her. Um, but they still need some work for sure. And then when you go to the Chad Kirkland one, you can see that his um, trust rating is higher and these are pretty close. So we want these to be close like this for sure. Um, but having these in the twenties is still pretty low. So it's relatively easy to beat out. He has a ton of backlinks, but based off of this number and these ratings, it again, just lets us know that maybe they're not as powerful, trustworthy or relevant. They're not working as well for him as they could be. Um, so relatively easy to beat out. Now, the other thing that I want to touch on here is those buyer intent keywords that we kind of talked about, the organic keywords that you rank for in Google, and you want them to be buyer intent. So buyer intent means a service that you offer and a service area that you offer it in. So product photography in Utah, that's great. There's about 50 people per month searching for stuff like that. So those are some of the ones that you have visit your competitors because they've got more than you, right? So Jessica, she's got Utah family photographers in there. That's got about 200 people per month searching for it. Um, Utah photographers has about 600 people per, per month. Family photographer Salt Lake City has about 60. So these are buyer intent keywords that you want to get added to your website because if you're getting some of this search volume, I mean, oh my goodness. Um, and then we can click in here. So we've got commercial photographer. Utah has got about 30. Um, Utah commercial photographers has about 30 as well. Um, so I mean, Salt Lake photographer 40, like going through these, you want to explore those. And again, find those buyer intent keywords, those phrases, because what Google does when people are searching in it, it's send it sends crawlers through your website that are looking for these phrases to match what people are searching for. And you want these by your intent ones because other ones like uh, Kirkland Photography, maybe that's someone specifically, but you know, you want to avoid the ones that are like something like this. I mean, there's people searching for this, yes. But that's not buyer intent. So that's just someone looking for information. So you want to focus more on those buyer intent ones because that's someone that's searching for your services, right? So the service you offer, service area that you offer in, and you can use this to target a wide range of areas in Utah too. I know you said that you'll travel 
um, on your website for some stuff. So you can mix up your service areas and have um, different service area pages and that kind of stuff. That would be really great. So the next thing that we're going to hit on here, the last thing is this area right here called the local map pack or Google my business. And so this is the local map pack for like the keyword phrase commercial photographer, Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, and so these are the top three people that come up here. And then I pulled up another one for just photographer, Salt Lake City, Utah. And again, here's that map pack here. These areas get a ton of business. So this is definitely where you want to be ranking in this first, second, and third position, right? And so how we get here is by having the Google business profile, which you do have. And we want to make sure that it's filled out all the way. So your website's linked to it. You've got your business name. Um, the address doesn't have to be on there, but that does help. The phone number, having your hours on there is wonderful. Um, making sure that you have your photos uploaded on here and that they're properly geotagged and they've got the right alt text before uploading. So save them as those buyer intent keywords because Google reads those as well, what you save your pictures as. Um, anytime there's questions and answers, that's always helpful too. And then Google reviews, make sure you're asking your clients to leave you Google reviews because this is going to help you rank. And then the last thing is having your citation. So your business's name, address, phone number listed in a directory. Directories just include things like Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie's List, Home Advisor, etc. Things like that. So, um, find, you know, what you specifically want to target and then find the top competitors where they're um, citation is listed, what directories they're in, get yourself added to those exact same ones. And you can go above and beyond that too. So if these guys are in like 150, get yourself listed in 200, 250, maybe even 300, you're really going to blow them out of the water. So just a quick recap, we want to up this content and we want to add in those buyer intent keywords. And then we want to increase our backlinks and improve those for sure. And improve those organic keywords too as well. Like I said, explore your competitors. And by doing that, you're going to start to rank in this organic area, which is you want to be ranked first, second, and third in the organic section. Because, I mean, people generally don't leave the first page of Google to find what they're searching for. And they're certainly not going to go past the second Generally, I don't think very many people go to the third or fourth. You know what I'm saying? Like we just, you want to be on this first page. So getting ranked organically down here is going to get you, um, tons of clients because some people do scroll past this and they're looking in this area here. And then getting ranked here with your citation out there is going to get you even more traffic as well. Okay. That's all I've got for you right now. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback. Any questions you have, just let me know. Thanks, Maggie.